What's going on, guys? So, I'm trying to lift my CRV from the back. See how low it is compared to the front. I'm trying to tow my little trailer. So, I can't get any clamps in there to raise it. I bought the clamp type kit, but I found these rubber ones. Uh, if you get the small individual ones, you only get, um, I believe six, six or four, I'm not sure, I can't remember, but I bought these big ones and I'm going to cut them in half, and then I'll have four and four for each side. What I'm going to do is, it's just one giant block of rubber, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right down the middle of each block. Um, <clears throat> almost the same size as this little cutout on this one. And then I'm going to cut it right down the middle. And that should make me two. And that should look identical to the small ones they sell. I'm going to jack it up. Then I'm going to jack it up and I'm going to pop them in there. These are just shot. I haven't got any new ones. Should buy some new ones, but I need something temporary fast. And these broke on me. So, but it's still sitting higher in the front than in the back. All that clearance. Put it on my vice. Right down the middle. Snap on needs a new battery. This one did. Alright, now we're gonna cut it right down the middle. Alright, I'm gonna do. All four of the blocks first, and then I'll cut them down the middle. Alright guys, now we're going to cut it. I don't even be able to see, but I'm use my sawzall. I'm gonna put it right down the middle. perfect you just wanted to have something to hold on to so we're gonna do four on each side so instead of having enough for one side we have enough for both this will cost you ten dollars for one set um, and I paid ten dollars for the blocks and I made enough for two sets so, but that's just if you want to save some money otherwise uh, this is how you cut them now we're gonna install them I'm gonna jack it up alright it's jacked up look at that bad boy imagine if it was that high Sheesh! That'd be badass, boy. That'd be badass. But nah, that'll be too crazy. Alright, let's put the blocks in. Four on each side. And these are heavy duty rubber blocks. So I gotta get them in between like that. Or like this somehow. 
I didn't think about that yet, but I'm gonna have to put them in sideways and then twist them and slide them down. We'll see. Let me see what I come up with. Might just pry the spring, squeeze it in. Alright, guys. So I had to use the clamps because the rubber pieces were too fat to fit. So I put a clamp on one side. And I stuck two rubber uh, rubber pieces, two of them, one on each coil, hammered them in, got them center, and then I just zip tied them. Let's see, see if they hold. But I did the same thing for the other side. I still got enough to do the front. I might do that, because I only used one clamp on each side. Same thing. Got my clamp, got my rubber pieces. We'll see. My ride bogus, but look at that stance. Pow! Compared to before, it was drop. I'm gonna have to adjust the front now. Alright, guys, now that the back is done, I wanna do the same to the front, but since the control arm is there, there's no way to put the bracket. So I created this out of the old one, or the one for the rear. Just made a hole. Cut the, the tips off and I'm gonna just press it in place and like so and then I'm gonna zip tie it so it doesn't move out of that position I'm gonna do it either down here or up top I gotta see but it's just enough so it doesn't drop all the way down do it on both sides Oh, look at that bad boy. Pow. Sitting way better. It was dropped from the back like crazy. Check that out. It's just zip tied all crazy. Let's see if they hold. Same on this side. So I measured it in, I got five inch. Look. That one looks a little dropped. I might have to lift that one up a little bit, but it looks good, guys. It looks good.